Welcome back. This is video three in a series of three in which we're looking at the VLOOKUP function. To get the data for the VLOOKUP function, we decided to retrieve data from the web. That was video one. Video two was taking that data from the web and reformatting it. Now video three, I'm, I'm taking that completed result from video two. I rearranged the information on my worksheet. But now I'm going to use that to uh, to use the, the VLOOKUP function. The scenario is that I have data here for income levels and, and tax brackets. And I want to be able to take an income and enter it in this cell and have it return to me the appropriate tax bracket. And so the, the VLOOKUP function is, is a good way of uh, finding that tax bracket. Notice that the VLOOKUP function has three arguments that are required. One optional which is assumed if it's not entered. It requires a lookup value for us it will be the 25,000. A table array which is a range of, of data uh, that is going to look into to find the lookup value and then to find the value that's to be returned. This range here is is a range we'll be using. I've, I've taken that range from E2 to F7 and, I, and I've given it a name as you can see in this name box, a tax rate. And so that's our table array. The column index number is the column within that range that has the values to be returned. This range has two columns. It's the second column that has a tax rate, tax bracket. That's what we want returned. And so our column index would be two. OK, so let's enter the VLOOKUP function. Equals the lookup. Lookup value is here in cell C5. Table array. And then column index, which is 2, which we just talked about. So C5 for our lookup value. Table array from E2 to F7, or the named range tax rate. Column index, column 2. And it returns 15%. Let's look at how the VLOOKUP function works. This lookup value is, is taken down this first column within that range. And we say is it more than 0 but less than the 17,001? If so, we would settle on this first row. But it's not in this case. So we say is it more than 17,001? Yes. Is it less than 69,001? Yes. So then it would settle on this row. And once it's on a particular row that, that matches the criteria, then you go to the second column, and then it's this column value that's returned, so the 15%. And that's how it works. So if this were, say, 70,000, we see that it comes down and settles on this row of 69,000 and returns the tax bracket of 25%. That's it. Thanks. See you next time.